on that note, I noticed that your book, your best-selling book is called Speak. Yeah, right. Can you tell us what inspired your best-selling book, Speak? Speak is because I I didn't speak in my early years. In fact, the first uh, the first chapter is called The Quiet Years because I didn't speak. I was pretty quiet unless uh, I was spoken to, which was the order of the days. Speak, uh, you don't speak unless you were spoken to. Nobody was really asking your opinion. Nobody really needed to know. You knew your place. You kept quiet. Stay below the radar. Stay out of trouble. Don't cause mm-hmm. any problem and just, just do that. Now, I'm not saying everybody followed that. I was the mm-hmm. firstborn, which I think has something to do with it. They tend to be a little mm-hmm. bit more... Uh, law abiding and thoughtful and what have you and so I didn't do a lot of speaking I didn't speak my mind I didn't express myself and um, Mm -hmm. the first chapter addresses the quiet years but how I use that now to turn that around and to encourage other women because there are still women who are yeah I'm not saying they don't speak but they're not expressing their true self and so it's been a a, a becoming it wasn't a light Mm -hmm. switch but a becoming and to and to examine who you are, what you want, and um, be okay with asking for it. Be asking for it doesn't mean in, in the in the professional world for men it's being assertive. For women, it's considered aggressive. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah. And uh, we don't always want to appear that way, so we just you know just put up with things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we're still complaining about it because we don't we're not happy. So we just complain amongst our friends and, and don't do anything. <laughs> well, that's what having a good group of girlfriends is for, right? Right. So maybe we should be keeping each other accountable and say, well, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 